Good morning. We are going to be starting a project that's called mosaic. A mosaic is a picture that is made by first drawing your picture. And then if you've got um, construction paper, you're going to tear the construction paper into small pieces and then glue the construction paper down. So I have drawn a sun on my paper, which is a fairly easy picture to draw. And I've made it big enough that I can put good sized pieces of paper in it. Then I'm using a paintbrush because it's easier for me. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can just dip into the glue, okay? And then I put it in the place where I want to. And I like using the end of my paintbrush to push it in. When you get if you do what I'm doing with a paintbrush, make certain you wash the end, the glue out when you're done so your paintbrush is still good. So I have drawn the picture and I'm doing this and sticking them on. So I'm going to walk you through drawing a sun. Um, some boys and girls, especially my third and fourth graders, might want to do something more difficult. A couple years ago, um, second, third, and fourth, we did koi fish. So I did a koi fish and I started putting in the water and his spots. And I could pick another color to put for his body or his fins. I'd put the water all the way around him. But he is much more difficult. So you get to choose what picture to draw. Okay? If you don't know what picture to draw, you can do the sun with me. Um, However, the sun is more for kindergarten first and second. Third and fourth, I think you guys can come up with an original subject, not necessarily the fish, but it can be something else that you like. It can be a landscape. It can be a flower. You choose. And then you can put your paper, tear your paper up and put it down. Now, if you don't have construction paper. This is construction paper. You could, oops, lost a piece of blue. You could take a piece of white paper and markers and color the plain white paper and then tear that colored paper up and glue it down. But that's going to be an extra step, okay? Hopefully everybody has construction paper available so that we can do a project like this. So, the first step, ah, it's not picking up for me. The first step to do is to get a blank piece of paper. That's not a blank piece of paper, Miss Tomlinson. Get a blank piece of paper and draw your picture. The sun picture that I just did, um, or you could even do a picture that's the sun on one side and the moon on the other fourth grade. That would be an interesting, and we'll do that. I'll do that one after I do this sun. Um, the simple sun, you draw a circle. Then you're making triangles all the way around. And I have to turn my paper to make it work right. Otherwise, my triangles look silly. Almost there. So, there's my son. Then, I would take, you could use red, yellow, um, and orange to make your son. You could even put a face in your son if you wanted to. But you're going to take your paper. Here's the big sheet. And then you're going to tear a piece of it off. I want a smaller piece to work with. And then once you have it torn up, you can start tearing it into smaller pieces. Don't make them itty bitty bitty tea tiny because then it's going to, like this one, itty bitty 
too tiny. It'll take you forever to fill your picture. We want to make them bigger. And then you're going to put the glue on them. And just paint the glue on the piece and then stick it down. And you're going to do that until your sun is finished. Um, I like putting the orange in the middle and then yellow for the, the rays that are sticking out. These are called rays, the triangles. And I want my rays to be yellow. And so I would do all of the circle orange and then I would get some yellow. I already had this one torn up. And I would fill all of the rays coming out with yellow. And then, if you really wanted to, after the sun is filled and the rays are filled, you could get blue. I've got some blue right here. They're sticking to me because I have glue on my fingers. And you can put blue for the sky, okay? And start coloring the sky with blue paper. And we want to make certain to leave a little bit of white space around the pieces. If they touch too closely, it's hard to tell that you're doing something called mosaic. It just looks like a bunch of paper glued down. And we want it to look like we're putting the paper down in certain places to make it like a puzzle where it makes sense. All right. So I'm gonna smush that one there. One more. And I would keep doing this, and I'm kind of fixing it together. I would keep putting my blue all the way around to finish my picture. So your picture should have color the whole way. So on the sun picture, we're talking a lot of different blue here. Yellow in the rays, orange in the circle, and you could use red if you wanted to to make a face. And that would be a really cute picture, okay? Um, for third and fourth grade to do the kind that is moon and sun together, which would just be another interesting way to do it. You would start with a circle. And then you want to draw, this is called a yin and yang sign. So you want to, which is where you make a kind of a curve. And then one side is going to be your moon's face. So our moon might have an eye like this. And I'm just going to color the eye in because it's easier to do it than since this is a small space. And maybe my moon has some eyelashes just because. Okay. And then I can start putting the moon smile. And then on the sun side, we're going to make the points and I'm going to turn it while I make the points on this other side and it's going to kind of come over a little bit that's okay and then I would do the same eye over here. And color it in. And I'm putting my eyelashes big enough that I'm Hopefully, we might have to put little pieces. Now, I wouldn't put blue, but little pieces between it so we don't lose your eyelashes. Um, and then we're going to finish the smile on the other side. 
okay so it's, the moon would stay white you might put some uh, black in the mouth so the mouth shows up and then the sky around it I would put pieces of dark blue okay and put my dark blue pieces all around and glue them down and then on the sun side just like I did for this one, I would maybe do the face yellow and the mouth orange and then the rays um, orange to come off or yellow, you choose. And then the sky, because one side is night and one side is daytime, I would take a lighter blue and tear the paper off and make this side a lighter blue so it looks like daylight and glue them down okay so those are the ways to do this um i don't have a completely finished picture because it takes a while to do this but i can show you what a finished background is looking this is a style we're doing in the classroom um, and it's going to have a couple of extra steps that you're not going to have because i didn't know if you had black paper like this or not but you can see how I have the paper full of color. And that's what we want these to look like when we finish. We want to have them full of color. So, do your pictures. It may take you a day or two to do this. It may not, you may not be able to get it done all today in the specials time that you have. Um, so after school, if you want to work on it and keep working on it after you finish your schoolwork for the day, you can, or if you want to work on it over, the, you know, do part of it today and do part of it over the weekend, that's fine. You don't have to send me the finished artwork back today. Just send it to me when it's finished, okay? I'll talk to you soon.